Okay. Uh, my name is Yan Fu Chen. I'm working at the Center for Digital Learning in National Ilan University. Today, we want to share some uh, NIU's opinions. The subject is increasing the usage of uh, open courseware during the COVID-19 epidemic. Uh, this study was done by uh, uh, Professor Da Yongju, uh, Professor Yun Chuelin, and me. And let me present our study today. This light talk will cover the NIU OCW's background, this research methodology, and NIU's open course resources data analysis. Finally, we will talk about the summary and suggestion from the NIU's case. First, let, uh, let's introduce the OCW at NIU. NIU built the site of OCW in 2013 and set up the virtual studio in 2015. From 2013 to now, NIU keeps produced the digital courses at OCW and MOOC sites. In current uh, NIU's OCW site, the lectures combines the course material like uh, text, sound, video to be the OCW course content, then published at the NIU OCW site. The audience over the world will visit the OCW courses, but the mode is only uh, unidirectional. The audience cannot interact with the lecturers and another uh, audience. As everyone knows, in 2020, all of us faced the COVID-19. The entire world has uh, undergone uh, tremendous uh, changes. The lifestyles was changed. For example, increasing the social uh, distancing and no uh, gatherings. Also, most of countries closed the border. So like this year, OE, Global 2020 conference changed to the online mode. All of us meet each other online. Next, uh, the OCWs uh, of NIU uh, uh, didn't uh, publish any new uh, curriculum resources from 2017. Uh, however, uh, compared with the data from January and uh, to June uh, 2020, and the same period in previous years, they are significant change. So we decided to use the case study, event study, and survey to understand those changes. After we collect the uh, traffic of NIU's OCW sites and analyzed, uh, then we found the traffic has uh, declined from 2018 to 2019, but the number of the website visits has a reverse growth trend from January to June 2020 with 10.45 percent rate. The growth rate of the new users had increased from 2.64% to 11.33%. This made indicated, uh, indicates uh, that the uh, COVID-19 have affected the number of OCW usage. We also collected the data of the MOOCs site of uh, an IU but the data is count uh, annually. So from the chart, you, you cannot see the, the number of 2020. So, uh, so will the traffic of MOOCs size goes up or going down? Uh, they are uh, up straight in the chart. Next year, we will know the answer Then we will share the information for everyone. We also analyzed the 
uh, and I use e-learning and I, uh, IRS platforms, we found the usage is upwards uh, trend during 2020s, January to June. From those above uh, statistics, we realized that when there are more uh, external uh, factors happens, then the demand of e-learning is uh, and its applications is growing re repeatedly. So we summarized as below, uh, OCW can help slow down the spread of the COVID-19. Uh, effective uh, advanced deployment of OCW and e-learning can reduce the impact of uh, external factors on teaching and learning. Also, if we can provide a more uh, diverse learning uh, environment and a more flexi uh, flexible teaching, uh, teaching mode, it will more conducive to the learning uh, fact, uh, effectiveness of the students. Also, after uh, the first pack of COVID-19, NIU's teams believe uh, that a, a crisis is the turning point. So we, we will focus on the, the NIU's branding and quality of the course. And, uh, and the closeness of the knowledge and uh, content. Uh, target audience and niche market. Also, to, uh, we will correct more user feedback. We uh, we should uh, perform uh, interactive activities to create two ways communications for uh, connecting users for future production of an IUS OCW. So uh, for COVID nineteen, Taiwan can help. For open education, uh, NIU can help as well. If you are anxious uh, more information about NIU OCW, uh, please visit uh, e poster. The number is 338. Uh, my talk finished here. So thanks for your listening.